going on everybody welcome back to jay plays today we are starting a new game in our series or just a new series in general after having completed fran bow again a masterpiece i wanted another game that would kind of capture my imagination and had story that kind of drove everything atmosphere and it seemed like the next one that was relatively new and had some hype around it was never song now i've never really heard of never song so i did a teeny bit of research not about the game necessarily but just like it's kind of backstory and it seems like it was created by an individual named uh named thomas brush got my phone right here and on wikipedia who knows how trustworthy it is but we're gonna go with that so uh to do for, formerly called once upon a coma is a psychological adventure game developed by american indie Studi studios atmos games and serenity forge this game is supposed to be a sequel to thomas brush's flash game coma um yeah and that's all I want to read on it, just in case there's any kind of spoilers there. So I've never played Coma. I've never played any of this individual's other work, but I have seen the name before. And uh, I'm assuming after this first playthrough, I will probably, one, become a lot more familiar with his work. And two, go back and play some of the um, other games. And I'm hoping I won't get too confused on this because I haven't played the Flash game, Coma. So hopefully, even though this is a sequel, this is still like a standalone story. But I'm super excited to get into another artistic, story-driven game. And let's just jump right into Never song you know the first thing I should probably do is make sure we got some subtitles on because gotta gotta have subtitles right I take that back you have two options game volume and music volume so there will be no or maybe they've got automatic subtitles I hope that's what it is all right here we go start game new file So excited i don't even want alcohol for this game i just want water never song is a moving story of loss and hope it contains themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting right up our wheelhouse to those who suffer know that you are not alone please ask for help once upon a time there was a boy an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was gray. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening day, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Wow, okay, so major difference All off the bat is we got voices this time around. Okay, me is trying to be really exploratory today. Every time I start recording, that's when she starts doing stuff. Okay, so major difference between this and Fran, bro. We've got a, uh, a voice. Different, maybe I don't have to do voices for this one around. Really nice voice, too. All right, and we got WASD keys. All right, Let's see if we can, oh, we can jump. It's an interesting jump. His body compacts into itself. But you can say right off the bat, there is, there's a, I don't even know what quality to call it. There's a quality of this game that is beautiful. S, I pressed S, pressed S, and I got a green light. Yeah, I don't know what it is about these these like 
2D with the art style like this that I just love every single time. It's so weird. Hearing somebody scream in the background. All right, what do we got here? Space plus space. Ah, uh, okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I was like so enamored with like looking around. I mean, there's not much to even see here. Except for a creepy guy in the top. And then I heard him say something about a coma. Somebody fell. I'm wondering, was that how the last game started or began? S. Okay, so it's not pressing the S key. I just have a green light for some reason. Alright, let's go double space it. I have no idea what the commands are so far. And as those who have been following me know, I'm not a big PC gamer. Usually I am on uh, PS4. So if it's standard controls, I'm going to have to learn those standard controls. It moves really well, too. Really well. Really responsive. Check voicemail. Okay. I was wondering <laughs> if after all this time you Hey. It's me. Alright. M. Okay, SM. Maybe I should remember these uh, letters. A game by... Oh, okay, this is an intro. Okay. Game by Thomas Brush and Serenity Forge. Those are some dope names. They just sound like artist names. L. Give me an L. Don't give me an L. Give me an I. Give me an E. Don't give me an I or an E. Interesting. Okay. Developed by Eric. I like that. I always like slow reveals of titles. That's dope. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like Smile. Alright, Joker. A portrait. The word Smile is scratched into the parchment. Dr. Smile. Something tells me I don't want to run into Dr. Smile. Okay. Huh. It looks like we got dropped back down into... What is that roly-poly jelly looking stuff? It's bouncies. Bouncy to bouncy to bouncy to... I, I jacked my bounce up. Bouncy to bouncy to bouncy Okay, what are these for? What are we using these for? E. Okay, I'm assuming we didn't press the doors in the right order. My eyes barely caught this dude in the background with a giant knife, dude. Like, it's not a sword, it's not a knife, it's right in between it. A z knife. Z knife. Two z knives. Believe. I believe that I don't want to meet those creatures. Believe the. Hey, it's me. M, okay. Got more creatures again and more jelly jumps. Jelly. Is something coming out of the jelly as I'm jumping on it? Or is that... No, there's definitely something like gas coming out of that. There also seems to be more jelly jumps like behind the uh, torn up shades. Like, that's something I gotta get better at, is, like, using the context of the environment to tell me the story instead of just the dialogue. Which I... Okay, once again, we're getting that. I'm, I'm curious, real quick. I'm gonna go back and see if that other light is still green. Because if it's not, it's telling me that I'm definitely doing this in the wrong order. And look, M's not green anymore, which means I need to go back up. I messed it up. How do I go back up? Okay, so... Leave the. I feel like you have to do it in a certain order. I mean, which makes sense because obviously that goes before. Um. Before M. So hopefully these things aren't changing for the worst. 
Dr. Smile again. Anything changed about Dr. Smile? Nope. Same old, same old. Still a happy guy. Just a happy-go-lucky individual. Alright, let's try it again. Time. Moving steadily forward. Okay, E. Or S. Yeah, E. S. Smile. They want me to spell, uh, spell smile. Okay. Whoa. Okay, those numbers are quadrupling. I probably should get this right this time before something really bad happens to me. Spell smile. Okay. I got it. I got it. Believe the... I had to think about what letters were present on the doors. It's probably still the same message. Okay. M. Lie. Believe the lie. Don't believe the lie. And then I need I, and then L, and then E. Okay, I'm glad he didn't yank our ass through that door. So, I mean, was that correct? Did I do it right? I guess the only way to find out is to keep moving forward. I'm pretty sure he wanted us to spell smile. Same old, same old with Dr. Smile. Good old Joker grin. Still haven't figured out what the, uh, what the j Never song. Something tells me, man, if we had gotten it wrong a few more times, we would have been jacked up. Would have been 20 dudes outside and we've been bladed up. Never song. I don't have to do voices this game around. I enjoy doing the voices for Frambo, but it sounds like whoever developed this game, Sophia and Thomas, got some quality actors to already do the voices for him. This game sounds good, too. I have a thing about, like, footsteps, and I like the sound of that, that jumping on the uh, piano, because it's got, like, this, this give to it and, like, a creak that I enjoy. Oh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't play piano, and I just noticed I've got hearts now. Oh God, four hearts. All right, Link. Um, A B. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, okay, well, I can't. No, I don't want that. I'm trying to make a beat real quick. Mm -mm. Uh, let's do... No, uh... It's gotta be. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to play with that, and we do not want to sit here and waste all our time. But I could sit there and just play with that and try and make a beat. That's dope. I don't know what they want me to do with that because I do not play piano. So if there's a certain beat, a cozy fireplace. Oh, okay. Save feature. All right. Yeah. Sure. Why not? I'm a man of save. Got a nice cozy fire. Oh, it's our friend Rin. <laughs> booty bum pals. 1952 booty bum. Okay. <laughs> It'd be like that, right? The names you come up with your friends to express friendship. The crazy names. The funny names. The names that like, if you told your parents about or if you told your other friends about as you get, became an adult they look at you a little bit weird but that's the bond that you share with your young friends your dusty mattress oh i stay here rin's parents are so nice sleeping here beats that old orphanage caught any day oh wait no i guess i am doing voices okay 
It's gonna be the same voices. I'm, I'm assuming I don't have any new voices in me. Boom, 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 boom. And there is a lovely outside area. Okay. Got me so going on adventure music. Oh, I need an umbrella. I see the umbrella in the back. Okay, probably need an umbrella there. Redwind Village. Well, this is just pleasant. This is such a different world. I'm so used to everything falling apart and being creepy. BB. Booty bumps. Something's written on the door in Crown. The hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. <laughs> it's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse, and you can suck a big one. We are so appropriate. Punky. Who's Punky? Okay, I keep breaking stuff, and I don't mean to. Are you Punky? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh, crap. Not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. I don't even know if I can count to a billion, dude. Why? Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. Why is that like an OCD? And why is that? My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. I bet. I'm sorry. I just wanted so to get to know you. Can I help you? 1015. 1016. 1017. You probably missed some numbers. Where's Rin? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. What? I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. Sorry. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. That's why he's doing jump rope, trying to get some calf After strength. I finish counting, of course. You gotta get that leg strength up because wrestling, it's not about your upper body strength. It's all about the legs. Get that trunk strength up. Where does this go to? It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Okay. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Ote. Okay. The barbershop? Red Red Rim Barbershop. A message is scribbled on the mirror. Read it. G C G C B. You know I got that. G C G C B. Got it. G C G C B. Remember our song, Pete. Remember our song, Pete. Rin, how did this get here? GC, GCB. A love song scribbled on the mirror. Oh, this is like Ocarina. Okay, cool. GC. Oh, uh, wait, no. What am I saying? GC. What am I? Let's get dyslexic all of a sudden. CG, CGB. CG, CG, CGB. C G C G B. All right, we got that. I don't know how to access that again. You're finally awake. My heart is full. What's up, Preston? I was about to adventure out to the Spiderian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Well, you're going the wrong way, Preston. We have to go to the asylum. The asylum is where our pants were last seen at. Where? That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, oh, everyone. Mia. Right. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Should we be careful asking the stupid question of where's Rin? One more time. What? What? Look at her. Where? Where's Win? Where's Win? Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. Oh. If you must know. It is my belief that, well, um, that your girlfriend is likely dead. Mia, chill out, dude. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. I thought they were best friends, not girlfriend and boyfriend. Maybe they're mixing that, uh...
Okay, I think I know what it is. <laughs> a friend of ours recommended that we get Mia some catnip because we've never gotten her catnip before. So I, I put the catnip on a certain toy, but she didn't mess with it all day. And I guess she just so happened to finally play with it, and now she's going all over the place. Great. My heart happens to think of the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. Can you help me? I'd help you find her. But I gotta go check out the Spidarian sewer first. Okay, bye. We should have went with them. Let's go check out the Spidarian sewer. <laughs> the jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama, Make Me Happy. Also, CG, CGB. I still got it. It's still in my head. Haven't lost it yet. I'm gonna go right back and play it right now. I don't... I mean, there's so much more to explore, but... Just so I don't forget it, and just so I can see what it opens. Let's not forget our tune. CG, CGB. I think. Unless I just mix that up in my head. Look at that stride we got going on. We got the, that Olympic stride. Rin's house, which is also kind of like our house, because we don't have a house because we're an orphan. Hit me with it. I didn't do it right though. Let me let me do it again and like do it justice. What the Should I even go in there? Okay, let me see if I can I want to cards, huh? Yeah, I want to play it right, dude. Come on, let, let, let's not mess it up. It's a good tune. Let's make sure we're playing our song right. Here we go. Okay, I sped it. I'm a little fast. I'm rushing. Little slow. Little slow. Speed it up. Closer. Yes. I rushed. I'm rushing again. Slow. No. Better. All right, we're getting there with some practice. I'm glad this isn't uh, whiplash. Oh, we got a chest for that. What do we got here? Oh, Red Wind Slugger. Rin's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. All right, well, let's whack it, shout. Oh, oh. oh my God, dude, you've got some speed on you. Oh my god! What are you taking? Jesus, look at that swing, dude. This is also a welcome departure. I have something to defend myself with. Look at this. Unless it's just there to bust inanimate objects. And hopefully I don't get <laughs> a bad ending for breaking everything in this village. But man, that swing is gnarly. I just want to hit everything. Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. Let me not hit nobody, though. Yes, yes, yes. If there are cards to be found, I will find them, especially if they're meant to be found with this bat. I think we got everything in there. We talked to good old Preston. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing is safe with our Red Wind Slugger in hand. It's locked from the inside. Cool, we'll continue on our way. Oh, yeah, yeah, nothing to say. But before we keep going on that way, let's see what happens when we go up. There we go. Yeah, none of that. I mean, there's no adults around. Nobody to get mad at. It's locked from the inside as well. Everything's locked. All the grass is destroyable. Hey. What's up, chat? Sup? We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. What? What coma? It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Nope. Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. Hmm? I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. We gotta play this coma game. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. Did he just call her the slug? Also, by saying that I was too chicken, it does sound like there's a hint of judgment in there. I know you guys are saying that you're not judging, but I feel like there's some judgment in there. Rin's nickname? We all call her the slug. Why? She started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Yeah. I'm not sure where she hid it, though. 
Okay, bye. I have it. I took it. It's mine. Something screams to me that I should hit that. Which is exactly what I'm going to try and do. Swing and jump. Swing and jump. Okay. Well, darn it. Um, before I <laughs> waste a lot of minutes trying to swing and properly jump and hit that contraption, let's see what else happens when we go further right. Such pleasant music, dude. Are we going to get a wisp with us? Is that why that's part of the loading screen? Redwind Village. You know, we just came from there. Redwind Field. Pete, it's me, Bird. You woke up. Hey, what's up? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. I just saw Ren. Really? Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Yeah, you know who was screaming. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Let's go! Okay. Quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Okay. One, two, three, and... And... Oh, yeah. We've got a talking... Well, its name is Burb. I don't, I don't think it's a bird. It looks more like a fairy to me. So this must be the way to the uh, Spiderian cave. Dude, there's so much to explore. I... I mean, are we even ready to go down there? Or are we just gonna die? A cozy fireplace. I mean, why not? It's here. It's here. We might as well use it. A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll get another heart. A hundred of these? Oh, we better start swinging some more bats. Parkour. <laughs> Hi. Up here, Pete. I see you, dude. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Have you seen Rin? Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. What? Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. You don't really seem to be doing that. Dude! <laughs> ah, just kidding. Um, yeah. Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work that out. Really? Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa Grips. Got it. We're going to need those. Cool. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude. Once I figure out how to get down... John and I are heading to the cemetery. Why? Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Got it. Okay, I think just grew legs. Am I supposed to kill that? What the hell is that? Oh, I got another fizzle. Yep, kill him. I'm usually more of a talk first kind of guy, but uh, the fact that a hundred fizzle gives me... How is this? Looks like a coma card. Huh. These things are all the rage in Red, Red Wind. The coma card. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Oh! Ho ho ho! Alright. Equipped to wear a headband. Gumboyasa is a kid that thinks he's cool because parkour. Okay. He's nice though, so who cares? I'm all about it. Let's wear this headband though. That's dope. I didn't know customization was going to be a thing. I am all about it. Who looks cool, cool with our headband? We look cool, cool with our headband. Oh, this is a person. I am so sorry, dude. I didn't mean to get on you. Hey, Duke face, get over here and help me. I'm stuck. How did this happen? Isn't it obvious, Puke? No. I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. What can I do to help? Give me my sewing needle, Puke Bart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Right, one more time to call me Puke something. Where? The little turds! The spiders! Snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree! Spiders? What are you, stupid? Ever since your precious little wren went missing, things have gotten strange. You really want some help, don't you? So hurry up! If you don't give me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are gonna bite my face off! I'm on it! I'm on it, dude! It's like a high priority below everything else I've gotta do because you're kind of a dick. 
Wow. Oh, Mia. I am engaged in fierce combat with Spider. What's up? What's going on, little girl? Now, what had we. Oh, I see. Now, pot chance. Does this revolve around me jumping up there somehow? Then again, I don't have the uh, special gloves to really help. But we need to find these spiders so that we can get big dude out of said hole. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need those. We need those. We need those. We are well on our way. We can't count to a billion, but we can surely count to a hundred. I call this the jump attack. Maybe not. Ugh. Oh, at this rate, we're definitely going to get our next heart. I just don't know about... Yeah, okay. I might as well stop this. We don't have the parkour gloves. We're not cool enough for the egg floating things. But we are cool enough to kill some spiders. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. Aha! Is this where you're... Wait, check it out in the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? <laughs> no thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Grab it, bird. We gotta find a verse, voice for our, our dear Pete. Cause I keep blowing around. Oh, he holds it for us. Dope. Dope is as dope does. Ren's favorite spot. Yeah. Okay, something tells me we're not gonna make that jump, so we are clearly not ready for the next stage. Let's go back and pop big boy. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Hey, big boy. See the fire spiders haven't eaten your face off yet? My sewing needle. Give it to me, big butt face. Here. Oh, help me. It hurts so bad. But you have to pop me. I don't think it's a real disease, man. I don't think this is what we're supposed to do. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh. Uh, are you full of air? Okay, he had no grip. I guess we're going in after him. We're coming, big old Big Pete. Big puke face. Big whatever your name was. I forgot your name already. Sorry. You were not that memorable for me. Help! Help! These spiders are gonna eat me alive! It's not any blow back up. <laughs> now the spiders are gonna eat him. <laughs> I'm coming, dude. No kids getting eaten by spiders on my watch. I gotta be careful though. I don't wanna summon that. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe not just go walking into the egg acid. They went this way, so we should probably go this way. Of course not. Why would it be that easy? All right, let's see what we got here. And jump! I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Somehow I clicked out. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, you're getting killed. You're getting killed. Come on, let's go. Is it? What is that? That's not a spider. Oh, I. I mean, I want to kill it, but there we go. I felt like it had a lot of that. Wait, what's going on? I'm stuck in the acid. Okay, got it. You gotta kill the enemies to progress. Is some of my fizzle fizzle stuck in the bottom? No, that doesn't seem very fair. School. Hmm. All right, help me out here. What, uh, I don't. Am I not ready to progress to this particular level? Do I not have what I need? Can't do anything. I don't have, uh, well, I don't have anything, really. I mean, that's that's just the gist of it. He may have to get eaten for a little bit here. And there's something giant over there. Uh, yeah, I don't... What is that attack? What am I... Am I throwing something that I don't have? Yeah, something tells me that we're, we're just too early. Okay, well, you know, I wanted to help you, bud, but I think I'm gonna have to come back. Mind if I go back up? There we go. 
I was like, is it not the double ju double jump that we had just learned? My um my microphone was picking up more sound. Oh, I didn't mean to jump back down there. Ay ay ay, okay. Did not mean to do that. Totally did not mean to do that. The Spiderian Sua. Alright, so we need to one get those gloves from that individual. Or not from that individual, that's right. She has some more in her own apartment or her house. So you gotta explore her house, find some parkour gloves. A cozy No, we can we don't have to save just yet. I feel pretty comfortable in our skill level. Man, did I break y'all already? Okay, um, I know there's a side that we haven't explored either, but I really feel like we need those gloves. Those gloves could help out a lot. Where they are located, nobody knows. You also said we go to the cemetery. I wonder if the cemetery is to the left here. I'm just going to keep walking left and see what, what we find. I feel like you need an umbrella for that. go that way and we are not strong enough yet to go up there either huh our I say strong enough but what that seems to be doing something wait a minute what do we just get for no that's wrong are we not doing it fast enough or well that's probably the final one we probably need that last one over there okay so yeah we clearly can't go over there just yet which means what? One or two things. Either A, we need to go get those gloves that are inside Rin's house. Or B, we could progress further along in Spideria Caverns. We just weren't doing the right thing. Which happens. It's all a learning process. All a learning process with these new games. Let's see here. We don't have an umbrella, so we can't do that. Let's go in here. Rin, where did you keep your lovely gloves? I gotta get used to that. Ah, okay, there we go. My bed. Where would she keep her gloves? 1952. All these games take place in the past. I guess it's just in more honest time, and it's cooler to animate than it is modern times. Or draw, draw, animate. Huh. Aw. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, Ren, where do you keep your gloves at? Because I'm not seeing them. And there's really not that many aspects to your house. So something tells me we need your, um, what do you call it? We need the song. We need the song to access it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Who was it that was going to go to the, the kid in the barbershop? That was going to head into uh, the caves. Maybe he needs to come to the caves with us. If I'm lucky. Come to the caves with us, Preston. I'm good, bye. Never mind, I thought you were going to help me. Okay. So we are in an interesting pickle. It seems that we must go and help the kid who's going to have his face eaten off. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense because he's about to have his face eaten off and we leave to go do something else. Um, problem is, I really did not see what I needed to do next. Like I said, I don't... Maybe I should look at the controls real quick and see if there's a control that I'm missing. Controls, please. Oh, that's beautiful, but that's not what I'm looking for either. We got a cool headband. That's not what I'm looking for either. There's no... 
controls, really. It's, you know... You have two options. It's music and volume. Uh, Good. Hey, cool. Where did that come from? You wouldn't happen to give me a clue to where... Parkour! I just realized something. Are we friends? I never really... Yeah, did. dude! We, we go way back. Are you kidding me? We were only friends because Ren was around. I'll be honest. Okay. Now that she's not around, I don't really know you. Uh, okay. What's your favorite color? Like, if you had to choose between red, blue, and yellow, which would you choose? Well, it just so happens that my actual favorite color is featured here, and it is none other than everybody's favorite color, red. Red is boring. Yeah, I don't know if we can be friends, red boy. Nobody likes me. Parkour, parkour, <laughs> Nobody parkour. likes me. Woo! You're the best, Pete. That's me. All right, red. All right, cool. I feel like no matter what... Ouch! No matter what he would have said, it was going to end in him saying, yellow boy, blue boy. There was no right answer for that. You were not going to be his friend. All right, let's go save our other friend, who also treats us like complete backside of a dog. <clears throat> Okay, now, whoa, let's not kill ourselves. Didn't this get closed off last time? That's interesting. Oh, they both freed up when it went down the fr- Oh, I see what happened. Okay, got it. What I don't get is, is that water acidic? I feel like I don't want to be in that water. Uh, let's see here. All right. Neat. Uh, we don't want to jump across just yet. I feel like I have to figure out. I have to be like sure that that water's. The spiders seem like more afraid of me than I am of them. But um, are you trying to come behind me, dude? That's, that's not gonna work. I have to be sure that this water's bad, even though it looks bad. Oh wait. No, it's not bad. Oh, okay, the water's fine. It just had like the smoke coming off of it that made me feel like that's like acid water or something. Like it's not good water. Oh, he hit me too. Okay, whatever. I got a heart out of that. That's fine. Play your game and I'll play my game. There was a door there. Preston's lab. Hey, Preston, you made it. Good to see you, buddy. Pete, welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. Hi. This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend, Red. There's no question science can't answer. Sure. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. There's literally only one insect. One insect in the entire world of insects that I am definitely afraid of. I've eaten scorpions, crickets. But this particular insect, I cannot deal with. Centipedes. I hate centipedes. Way too many damn legs. Fact. There's some oh, weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Okay. Yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. I concur. Last. My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. Let's find our friends and parents first, huh? I should get back to work. Well, let's... Goodbye, nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Okay. 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 Dr. Smile and a birdcage. Oh, Dr. Smile is the person, and he's clearly got our girl Rin in there. She looks older. Oh, is that the only photo we have? That's a creepy photo. Where's he at? At the top of some circular thing. All right. Got some writing over here. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Let's read it. Sent a spider. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Rank? Three. Miles. Oh God. Oh God. Age. One. Week. That's how big it got in one week. Oh, we gotta kill that. Deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. At least she's deaf and blind. 
Notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. Okay, she doesn't like kids. Doesn't seem to eat people, so that's a good thing. And there's a bear up there that I feel like we should get. But again, we don't have whatever rocket launcher thing that it is we need. Clearly, we have a throwable. Because I have a special move that... What is it? Down and throw? Yeah, this. Right here. Seems like a special... Whoa, is this part of the centipede? This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I agree, bird. I agree. We're on the road again. I hate centipedes so, so, so much. Okay, I lost one of my sparkles. Let's go up. Because why not? Oh, let's go down, because of course there's nothing on this side, so I can't go up. Oh my god, there's eggs on the ceiling. I don't mind spiders too much, though. I feel like spiders, for the most part, are there to get rid of all the other insects. They don't really bother me too much. Which is not to say if one crawls on me that I will not proceed to remove it promptly, but I don't get grossed out by spiders as much. Let's explore this before we go up there. So many ways to go. Oh, sh did we find her already? Oh! Okay, I'm guessing that's Dr. Smile in the background. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a good question. It was that thing again. That thing. Had taken rest. Oh, man. I'm just a child. But his wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving, and I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin. We need to hurry. Did he say he's only a child? Don't be mad, he's just a child. Is he a... Are we supposed to feel sorry for him? Because I'm finding it really hard because he wants to eat our girl, man. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Hey! What the f... Oh, dude, the spider's totally about to feed you to whatever that is beside you. Help me, puke! I think she's hungry! I wouldn't call me bad things. Um, no thanks! Now nah, I'm good. No, you keep calling me puke, and I told you if you call me puke one more time, Simon, and you are so lucky I'm a nice guy. <sighs> you got it. Oh! Oh! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm about to make you dinner. Hold on. There we go. Alright, so we're just gonna push you this way. I definitely almost made you dinner. <laughs> we actually get to roll it. <laughs> Yo, let's take it back. Let's figure this out. Alright, well, we don't want you in the water because I feel like you're going to drown. So give me a second to jump over you and lower that. Alright, now we see how that plays in. Keep back over here. I'm definitely coming back down to fight that. Look what you did, Puss Man. No more covered in sand. I'm sorry. Nah, dude. You gotta stand up for yourself sometime. Great observation. <laughs> I hope your precious Ren is dead. A little too far, man. You gotta know when to draw the line. Gotta know when jokes to say and when not. How dare you? You're kidding, right? You roll me through sand and expect me to be nice? What's your problem? I don't know. How about don't make me mad, idiot, and I'll be nice. No wonder Ren ran off and got herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. I'm really thinking about rolling his ass right back to that giant centipede thing because what the hell dude this kid is a dick yeah that's not doing it i gotta stop it's not the double space anymore oh look they gave me my uh my uh oh i may have to hit you dude oh god you fuck damn it fatty oh. back up Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, pick that up, and we're just gonna keep what? All right, 
This day oh, yeah, we, we were doing this. Weirder. And we had a weirder and weirder. Should I take him inside of here? No, that didn't work. Okay. That Preston maybe has something to help you out, but apparently not. I thought we just drowned the kid. Oh, man. <laughs> He's a dick, but I, like not like that. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on. Hold on. Cool. That went through his body. All right. Here we go. You rolled me through sand. Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Let's see if I can lower this, too. All right, kid. We may have a bit of a problem. Hold on. Get through there for us. Get out of that, man. Get, get. Hold on. How do I get big boy? Am I going to have to hit him? I don't want to, but am I going to have to? I don't know how to... All right. Maybe there's something past her that I don't know about? Or should I talk to her? Wow, this thing is horrifying. What is it? I have a theory. What? Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Come on! You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown-up. Yikes! Yikes is right. What the what? The grown-up was turned into a centipede? Yeah, we're not gonna wake that up. So somebody's conducting like experiments on adults and turning them into creepy insects. Die, die. Sorry, I really need those hearts. 30, 35? Really? I thought I had more than that. I'm trying. Okay, well, not today. Oh, this is it, huh? I see some stuff up there. Huh, got it. I don't see anything that I can interact with, though. Oh, we can do an upswing. Oh, so this is just a downswing. That's all it is. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now I, I, I'm picking up what you're throwing. I'm seeing what you want me to envision. I'm walking the path that you drew for me. I'm hearing the music that you recorded. I'm sipping on a tea that may not be tea. So what are we going to do with big old boy? How are we going to, uh... Let me try to jump with that again. See if I can get something up there. Shoot. Alright, so this leans us up, or shoots us up, and I'm going to try and double jump at the top. There we go. It did work. Dope. Don't run from me. Are you a friend? No, you're not. You're definitely not a friend. Nope. I tried. I tried, buddy, but I saw you coming, man. I didn't like the way he was coming at me. Here we go. Oh, and another card, too. Whose card could this be? Preston! Equipped to wear glasses. He'll likely be the richest of all the children when he grows up. Probably some inventor or something in San Fran. All right. All right. I see you, Preston. I want your glasses, though. Oh, yeah. Our outfit is coming together. Now we have to hit that. Great. Oh, on the first try. Okay, drain the water. Why do we need it to drain the water? I can probably destroy this box, I guess. Yeah, buddy. That's right, I was keeping the box alive because I thought I couldn't walk in that dirt because I thought there was like acid or something. Acid dirt. You got sludge smeared all over my jeans. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. You bet your peach fuzz your story. You owe me a list of favors. You bet. Let's go. I just, I, you know, the way to deal with these kids is just like, okay, sure, dude. Whatever, man. Whatever. Just gotta keep it pushing. Hey, big boy, can you maybe break that? Are you big enough to break that? Are you big enough to break that? Are you big enough to... No. But you are quite bouncy. In fact, some say I could use this bounce. Very... 
Hey, K, kid in a box. Hey, <laughs> look at the, look at the <laughs> Look at the, look at the dance. <laughs> Pete, hey, it's me, Gum Tyler. Hello. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my big bro, Gomboisa. I know Gomboisa's we're best friends, dude. See this headband? Got it from him. Okay. Have you seen him around? Yes. Where's the F for F? Swing it in the field. What, John? You tricked me. I didn't think he was actually playing hide and seek. So we sent you down in the spider cave? Wish I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him, though, on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat, though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? <gasps> no. Yeah, swing that bat when you jump, and you can go a bit higher like a cool kid. Thanks. I like you more than I like your brother. Well, right, let's check that out. Let's see here. Jump, swing up. Wait, hold on. Jump, swing up. Uh, it's not really... I need a space where I can actually see it take place. I don't want to be on the centipede's body. I've got no desire for that. Leve. Oh, thank you. Stop right before it. Whoop! I don't think so. I don't know where that's going, but I'm gonna go right here instead. <laughs> right. Hold on. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Nothing. Why is it glowing then? Maybe it just shows that it went down. I don't know. Um, I guess I have no choice but to go down now, though. So we're gonna roll him down and up. Here we go. Let me get back up. What's that noise? Alright, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. See what I'm saying? I don't really know... Jump, jump. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Still learning. Excuse my idiotness. My idiocy. My idiocracy. And I'll jump, jump. Okay, just jump, jump. Cool. And forward. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me, buddy. All right. Do, 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 do. Wait, 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 wait. You probably don't want to. Oh, God, this one jumps. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you're in the way. Hold on. You're kind of in the way. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. And then you got your normal. Okay, what am I doing? I am. I am batting less than 500 now. So I'm going to need some more hearts. Here we go. Yeah, gotta get it. Don't let it jump. Don't let it jump. We don't need to jump. We don't need to jump. Oh, yeah. Double swing. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Can't swing on those yet. All right, big boy. I've cleared a path for you. You got, like, eggs on you or something there, bud. Sludge. You're oh, you smell like sludge, dude. You're gonna wake up the centipede. Oh, this sucks. Oh, man. You're gonna become food. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Let me go. Oh, God. Here we go. Let me... Whoa. What is down there on the side? Oh, it's it's him. It's creepy guy. He's just watching her. All right. Um, should I drop down or should I? Let's do this first. Smash first. Ask questions later. Okay, I can't hit that. Can't hit that. Dan and it, 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 it. Then oh, this goes further down. Into the. Oh, okay. It does definitely was a mother. It's got a uh, an apron on it. That centipede thingy. Is it wearing an apron? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. We're a very quiet, kid. We prefer to let our bat do the talking. We freed some stuff over there. Let's go back up, shall we? Woohoo! 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's dangerous when I show up. It's dangerous when I show up. 63, we are on our way to another heart. Well on our way. Yep. <laughs> hey, hats off to whoever did that laugh, because that laugh was creepy. That was a disturbing laugh. Our character looks dope, man. The glasses. Oh, the glasses replaced the headband. Aw. Alright, he, he looks more like a glasses kid anyway. Completes his look. I don't mean to hit you, man. You're just kind of in the way of the stuff I want to hit. Interesting. What's going on here with the... the was it eggs? Oh, you know what? You don't need eggs on you, bro. Because if they fall on you, you're going to have two of the things that she likes to smell. To eat. Or do you need the eggs on you? I don't know. I actually don't know. I hope not. It seems like a lot of work to get you back over here. So let me just kind of see what's moving on ahead of us. Just see what... Oh, 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 oh. This took us to the other side of her. Why did, why did we want to do that? To get her to move? Not gonna lie, bro. I may need to cover you in eggs. I think she may want to eat you. Spider eggs. Yes. Smells like red. Your insults suck. Your insults suck. Dude, you're so mature. That's very mature. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ha! Yeah, you are an idiot. <laughs> love it. I, I'll take that L. I love everything about it. <laughs> you are an idiot. Crap. I don't care what it made us look like. That was too fun. All right. Dinner time is served. Dinner time is served. Here you go. Here you go. Do you smell that? Are we missing something? It needs eggs. We got eggs. Uh, we got sludge. It's not waking her up, though. This doesn't smell good to you? This isn't appetizing to you? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We're missing something. Mm -mm, excuse me, allergies. Um, what are we missing? I don't even know what I broke over there. Uh, we are missing. Oh God, we have to go all the back around just to make sure. It's not doing it for you. Does that make you a bit hungry? What didn't we roll him in? Probably, probably some kind of water. I'm guessing. Maybe? I don't know. Let's throw in some water and find out. Oh! Oh, it cleans them off when you do it in the water. Okay, I see what the purpose of the water is. Okay, go back in that. Sorry, but I need you to be my bait. Don't like centipedes, and I feel like we're about to get chased. But, she'll probably provide our exit for you. So, there's that. We're staying positive. Here we go. Do, do, do. Oh, centipede! She's blind and deaf. Oh my god, they experimented on her and turned her into a... <sighs> Oh god. Look at all those effing legs, dude, and her I lie, the music's not even helping. That's just so disturbing. And the sound in the background. A treat! Oh, it's her son! Yikes. This is traumatic. I thought she couldn't see. I thought she could only smell. Uh oh. Okay. I'm going left or am I going right? Oh god, how is that safe? Do we have to kill it? Ah! Oh god! Oh, hit the hit the hit the hit the postules! Hit the postules! Hit the postules! Oh yeah. Sorry, I need you to die, I guess? I don't She 
belches out music? Oh god, oh god. Oh, come on, stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's such a gross monster. Okay, let's keep it moving. Oh, like our face is apart, dude. What the hell? Ugh, why are you dropping spiders? Here we go. Ew. Ew. Cut it out, man. Go. Going back, going back. Die, die. Everybody die. Everybody get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Gotta get rid of them early so I don't have to worry about them later on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you see me right here? Yeah. Attack. Oh, God. Oh, is the music up top of the stages that she has? Right here, I'm right here. Go for it. I'm about to tear you up. Uh, posture, 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 posture. Alright, okay. Yep, stage three. Okay. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's alright because I don't see all her legs, so it's not as bad as fighting a real centipede. Attack me. Come at me. Come at me. Oh, yeah. Don't you wish you had more legs? Legs that you could actually use? Now work it out, now work it out, now work it out, now work it out. Die! And die, 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 die. Okay, alright, I missed one, it's alright, it's alright. Get that heart right back. Oh, dude, you can see her inner workings. What is that up top? That doesn't even look like a person's body or an insect's body. It looks like, I don't know, railroad tracks or... Oh, I almost messed that up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this bat is crazy. We got Mommy Master and Sheetlet Unlocked. Did we just kill him and his mom? Is this freedom? What is this? You learned a new song. I don't even know one song. Yay! B, C, D, A, E. Screamed from the lengthy esophagus of Miss Richardson. So is she dead? And where's the boy at? I don't, I kind of feel bad if he died. I don't want to feed him to him to like die. Dude, I'm so confused. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gun Boys are talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. I agree. Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Rat. How does that, how does that track? Why? Got it! They apparently know how to sing. Or scream. Ha! <laughs> exactly. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally made somebody laugh. Ha <laughs> ha We're friends. Glad that's over with. Kind of freaked me out. Me too. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Not gonna lie, I've already forgot it, but okay. I, um... Dude, did she really eat the kid? Is the kid gone? And is she dead? I mean, she didn't look like she had much life for her anyway. She was a giant centipede, but... Where's our boy at? Our boy that we, you know, playfully jab. You know, we throw licks at each other, and... That's how we express our relationship, you know? Did she digest him that quickly? I feel like trash, dude. Did I just kill that kid? We will save later. I don't feel like there's anything in this place that's gonna kill us. So, yikes! Yeah. Is that? Oh, is it? Simeon? Okay, we should probably pop that. Okay. Let's let's take care of that. Yikes! Is that? Simeon? Okay. Well, why can't we? Are we gonna save him or? We're just gonna look at it. Looks like he's still alive. What the hell? So he's just, he's just stuck there? Is there an up attack? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Yikes. Yikes is right. Hey, dude, I'm just gonna let you know. Simeon's stuck in a bubble over there. If you could put that in your research, help me find him. Wait, what was all that racket? <laughs> Boss fight. Wait, you didn't slaughter my specimen, did you? I was studying her. Yep. Drat. Looks like I'm off to my next research location. I'll see you at the water tower, Pete. I have a hypothesis, and I have to test it. And I'm it. gonna kill your hypothesis. Okay. 
know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh... <laughs> if I had to find a voice for him, it'd be uh, Pete Davidson's character on SNL. The, what's that guy? The really dull, monotone guy. Okay. Like, that's that's what I'd give uh, Pete <laughs> for a voice. Uh, hit it. Hit it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I feel bad, dude. He got eaten. And now he's being digested and we could do nothing to save him. Die. Die. I'm going to unleash the anger and the badness. I oh, wait. You weren't over here last time. 3020, 3021, 3022. Hey. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. What? Are you crazy? I helped him find her. Like, she didn't even know he was there until I made him tasty. Okay. Bye. Yo, that, I'm telling you, it's the Pete Davidson's character. <laughs> it's totally who Pete is. Ah, and his name is Pete. It works out. What is floating in the background? What is... What the hell is floating in the background with our girl? Something tells me we're not catching up to her, but let's just see. Oh, no, he's gone. He's gone. And then the pleasant music comes right back after that. Dude, yikes. Why is he, like, taunting him? Though He's not eating her. He's just taunting this guy. Like, you know, if you're really hungry, why did you just move on with it? Take care of it. And if we're going to say monsters are people's parents, maybe that monster is Pete's parents. Parent. Or Rin's parent. Because Simeon's parent ate him. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see somebody else's parent. Probably John's next. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're going to Rin's house. Bum boy! What is, what is it? Bum booties? Booty booty bandits? Booty, what? <laughs> Wait, what is it again? <laughs> what the hell is it? They were the group? Bum buddies, I think? Or booty buddies? It's something with bums. I need to learn the uh, song again. I need to hear it fresh because that's how an artist works. Hit me with it so I can become. Hit me with it, Maestro. I'm ready to become an artist. CG, CGB. Wait, didn't we already do that one? Yeah, we already did that one. B, C, D, A, E. Right? B, C, D, A, E. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I got it. Here we go. Oh god, no I don't. B, E, C, D, A, E. Gloves? We can use some gloves. But did we play it right though? Hold on. No rushing it? No, you're rushing it. Yes. Yes. You're slow. Yes. I rushed. Oh, well, all right. That's enough practice for the day. We tried our best. And unfortunately, that is all the time that I have for today's recording. I want to thank you so much for checking out this episode of Never Song. I'm going to hold my opinions on this game back because it's only episode one. But I will say, if I had to give it a thumb grade right now, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Creepy creatures, but peaceful music the entire time. It's not like creepy music when it's playing. Usually these games have like creepy atmosphere, creepy cues, uh, music, but it's really kind of nice, pleasant atmosphere. Nice, pleasant dialogue. Really well done on the voice actors. Like they really captured the moment so far. Like really, uh, really believable. Uh, but then creepy cute creatures like a mother who's turned into a giant centipede and ate her son. And now that son is in a giant pulsating bubble. But Stay tuned, stay with me, hopefully you do, uh, for the next episode, which should be coming out here pretty shortly as we find out how to get our girl back and what nasty, creepy crawly we're going to have to kill next and watch devour their kid. Deuces.